Hello and welcome back. Okay, so I've got a bit of mail to open here. So this is Dustin Watts mini amp kit. I'll provide a link to his YouTube in the description. But Dustin sent me one of these kits to take a look at. So I'm going to see if I can build it. Okay, nice uh, resistor guide for uh, color impaired like me. Let's check the parts. Pretty sure this is a PCB from JLC. Oh, it looks pretty neat. All right, so we've got two three and a half mil connectors. Ah, he has actually written the resistor values on the paper. That's always a good attribute to have on a kit. Those capacitors are the same value, so I don't need to worry about those. Okay. Oh, he's also written the resistor values on the silk screen. That's good. Oh, it's uh, got the makings of a good kit. Okay, I don't know if I've got a PP3 around spare, but I shall go looking in a while. Let's try and build it first. I can see three 10Ks. I've got my soldering iron set to 360, which is what I generally use for through hole work. I used to set it a little bit higher, but with this good quality solder, uh, slightly lower seems to be uh, easier. Bent these legs slightly more than was necessary. These are the 1K resistors. I'm the first to admit I'm not much of an expert in analog, but I'm seeing a mirroring of these resistors, so I strongly suspect that might be left and right channels.
can't quite read Dustin's handwriting on this one. But I'm assuming I'm going to find it by the process of elimination. That's a four. So far. last kit I built before this was a speed run and I wasn't particularly worried about uh, the bits of wire I was trimming from the leads I'm still finding bits of wire uh, spread around my room Probably that is the next lowest profile. Okay, what's next? LED looks like it might have been damaged at some point. Let's assume it's okay. If you're ever worried about keeping things straight, it's worth checking after the first lead because it's a lot easier to modify it. I think I'm going to regret not doing these before the LED because I think it would have sat down quite nicely before then. I'm trying to work out why, but it doesn't sit terribly nicely there. Engage the blue tack there. Okay, what's left? Do the potentiometer first. It's quite snug that one. Don't need to worry about the blue tick. Not 
not the neatest joints I've ever done those ones. Okay, that's all the components on. Still need the power line. This bit's going to be difficult to solder. Okay, well, I think that's finished. I need to find a 9 volt battery, so I'm going to let the soldering iron cool down and go hunting for one. Be back in a minute. Okay, so I've actually collected up the things I need to test it. So this is labelled as a headphone amplifier, so I'm guessing the first test with the headphones would probably be a good idea. Okay, so I'm hearing good quality sound that's definitely louder than uh, what I get straight out of this cheapo mp3 player so you know, it works which is a testament to both Dustin's kit and uh, my actual ability to follow instructions I'm just trying to think what else can we do something else I downloaded was some constant tone samples Okay, so we can definitely adjust the amplitude. You can see on here there's a, a very small delay. These sine waves are very slightly out of phase. I suspect that will become more pronounced if we go up in frequency. I think the artifacting we're seeing here is probably the rubbishness of the digital to analog converter in the cheap mp3 player or possibly just the source data that's interesting I don't know enough about analog ele electronics to uh, really comment on this stuff best of my hearing ability the sound output from this is very good the instructions were very clear it was uh, not really something where I felt I needed to reference what looks like some very well written documentation because the markings on the silk mask were more than sufficient to uh, tell me what went where I definitely liked the good labeling on the resistors for those of us who are a bit color code impaired it's a good kit, Dustin. Dustin is thinking of um, selling these kits on Tindy or something like that, so if you check the description, there might be a link there which I'll uh, add when he does so. Probably the only drawback, I think, is the power connector is just wires soldered onto the board, and I do find they, uh, they can strain and break quite easily, if you're, um, particularly if you've got a loose battery like this. But no, it's a nice, neat board looks good and it seems to work. Alright, hope you found it interesting. I'll see you later. Goodbye.